تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرز پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس فیڈرل کیبنٹ میٹس ان اسلام آباد ٹوڈے ود پرائم منسٹر ان دا چیئر ٹو ڈسکس اوور آل پولیٹیکل اینڈ اکنامک سچویشن آف دا کنٹری Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates have reaffirmed desire to further strengthen their bilateral relations in various fields. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the power outages during Sahar and Iftar hours have sparked protests in several areas of Pulwama, Baramula and Srinagar districts. Britain has imposed strict travel curbs on India after explosion of coronavirus cases in the country. And now the news in detail. Federal Cabinet meets in Islamabad today with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. The Cabinet will discuss overall political and economic situation of the country. Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates have reaffirmed desire to further strengthen their bilateral relations in various fields. The understanding came at a meeting between Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and Emirati Foreign Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan in Abu Dhabi. They reviewed the entire gamut of bilateral relations discussing ways to enhance cooperation in areas including trade, investment, infrastructure, energy, technology, tourism and manpower. Pronouncing the UAE's decision to roll over the $2 billion provided in loan by Abu Dhabi Fund to Pakistan, the UAE Foreign Minister affirmed his country's commitment to extend every possible support to Pakistan. Foreign Minister Qureshi outlined his plans for showcasing the history and the future potential of Pakistan-UAE cooperation at Expo 2020 Dubai to be held in October this year. Shah Mahmood Qureshi lauded the positive contribution of Pakistani diaspora in the UAE towards the development and progress of both countries. He briefed his counterpart on the grave human rights situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and Pakistan's consistent efforts to support the ongoing peace and reconciliation process in Afghanistan. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmad has said the talks between the government and proscribed outfit Tehreek-e Labbaik Pakistan have remained successful. In a video message, he said it has been agreed that the TLP will call off its sit-ins across the country, including at Masjidul Rahmatulil Alameen. He said the cases registered against TLP activists, including those under the fourth schedule, will also be withdrawn and that the process of talks will be taken forward. The Interior Minister said a resolution will be presented in the National National Assembly today on the expulsion of French ambassador from the country. Meanwhile, the National Assembly session, which was earlier scheduled to take place on Thursday, is now being held at 3 this afternoon. A notification regarding change in schedule for the session was issued by the National Assembly Secretariat this morning. Ambassador of Azerbaijan to Pakistan, Ali Alazadeh, called on Naval Chief Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi in Islamabad today. The two sides exchanged views on matters of mutual interest, including bilateral defense cooperation and regional security. The visiting dignitary lauded Pakistan and the Pakistan Navy in particular for gathering countries around the world on a single platform through peace exercises. A delegation comprising senior Buddhist monks from Sri Lanka visited Bhatshahi Mosque and Lahore Fort in Lahore this morning. Speaking on this occasion, Chief Abbot and President Dharma Vijaya Buddhist Vihara USA venerated Dr. Valpola Piananda said that every religion has given a message of peace and harmony. He said that Pakistan has always helped Sri Lanka in the hour of need, including assistance towards counter-terrorism measures. He hoped that the Pakistan government would take further steps to promote religious tourism. The delegation is in Pakistan on a week-long religious pilgrimage to various Buddhist heritage sites, which has been arranged by the High Commission of Pakistan in Colombo with a view to promote religious tourism in Pakistan. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the power outages during Sehri, Iftar and Taravi hours have sparked protests in several areas of Pulwama, Baramula and Srinagar districts. The inhabitants of Litar village in Pulwama protested against New Delhi-led occupational regimes anti-Islam and anti-Kashmiri's policies and blocked Litar-Pulwama road. 
Britain has exposed its strictest travel curbs on India after explosion of coronavirus cases in the country. In a statement, Health Secretary Matt Hancock said India has been added to Britain's red list of countries banning all travels from India. Meanwhile, Indian government has enforced a week-long lockdown in capital Delhi from last night after a record spike in cases. In our cricket, the first T20 of three-match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe will be played in Harare tomorrow. The match will start at 2 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news.